Vanessa Joy here and we are testing out the brand new Canon RF 100mm 2.8 macro lens for the mirrorless line. I did get the chance to bring this on a wedding. This is not mine, this is on loan. So you can see some of the photos and videos from me using it at my last wedding. The biggest thing people wanna know about this lens, well, a couple things, is number one, what is this SA control and is it something that's gonna do something really cool? Are you gonna use it? Or are you not gonna use it? And does this lens do other things other than macro, well, any good at all? So that's what we'll test out today. We'll mess around with the SA control see how it changes the bokeh, the bouquet. Bokeh. Bokeh. In the foreground and the background. And then I wanna use it as a portrait lens and see how it performs like that. So far, pretty happy with it, having worked with it on a wedding recently, but let's go ahead and see what else we can do in a more controlled situation. Hey, I have to stop you right here to tell you about the thing in my business that makes me more money than anything else. That is Fundy Album Builder. Fundy Album Builder is an album design software that I use constantly that really helps me double my profits by designing albums and wall art, helping me make honestly about double my profit. Judah, why do I go to work? make money. Why do we need to make money? There are some things. Toys and clothes. Bring packs and presents. It's because, hey, if you're doing this photography thing for fun, great. But if you're doing it to put food on your table, uh, then Fundy's gonna help you do that. And they're having their Black Friday sale, which is the biggest sale at 35% off. How's that lollipop? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, back to this video. I will say this lens is pretty light. Uh, it's definitely lighter, at least I think, when I compared it to the EF version of the macro. And just in general, this is a really light lens, really light portrait lens. So if it ends up working nicely for portraits, it's gonna be one you can easily throw in your bag. All right, let's give this a try. <laughs> so I'm gonna have you right there. And I like Juliana here. One, the light is nice and even, but two, I've got the, the lights not only behind her, but on the ground. So hopefully let's take a look at how that messes around with, with the bokeh. <laughs> okay. Take a smidge of a lean this way. Yeah, like right there. Now this lens does have image stabilization. So we are gonna keep Juliana in one spot and she is going to stay there. Let's actually start all the way at SA control all the way up. And I'm just gonna take one picture, move it down, one picture, move it down, move it down. Actually, this is at nothing. Then move it down some more. Then move it down some more. And again, and again. Super boring, right? <laughs> but, you know, it's funny. Looking at this, you kind of get a soft focus feel. All right, so this is all the SA control all the way up. And then going down, going down. That was a blink, whoopsies. That's normal. And then now this is at the negative, and that's negative three. So you can see what it's doing to the background. Like the, the shape of the bokeh is changing. And like here it's getting bigger, but she's also getting a little bit of a soft focus going on in there. Interesting, we'll mess around again with that when we get to um, something that we're actually shooting macro. But in the meantime, let's just get some portraits. So I'd rather be shooting that anyway. Do you want to like bring your shoulder in? Yeah, it like makes your collarbone pop. Perfect. I'm gonna have you take three steps back and see what this looks like if we go a little more full length. I have to say the focus is fast. Definitely not like a slow focusing lens by any means. Having no problem following Juliana. Uh, you kind of just went like, like moved your hands over. Yeah, give like a little swing. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, let's get macro action. So I'll probably just go, hmm. Yeah, probably right here, because I gotta get fairly close to her, so. Okay. <laughs> this is Ike, everyone. Say hey. You may or may not be watching this before or after the video that we did together. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna make sure this is on full. I have to get like super eyeball close to you. That's pretty close. All right, perfect. So hold that there, and I'm gonna mess around with this. Ooh, that was pretty, I saw that on the You back. saw that, huh? That was amazing. All 
All right, let's see what that looked like. All right, so that's at negative one. And you gotta look at like the shape here of that. So as we go through, that's, I'm sorry, that's negative three on the SA control, negative two, negative one. That's normal, you see how sharp that gets here. Then this is a plus one, plus two, plus three. And you can see that starts to blur, but you're changing the shape of your bokeh in the background, which is very interesting. Yeah, let's do one more. I think I'm just gonna leave it right in the middle because that's kind of what I think looks good. So really small movements, go chin down right there. So look at me, I think right there, yeah. Super close up. But that's the other thing about this macro, by the way. This is not a one-to-one -one macro. You can get larger than life on this thing. All right, so I just wanted to show you what we have here. These images are basic edited, done by Freedom Edits. And here's where you wanna take a look at this spherical admiration control. So see these circles in the bokeh here and then come down here and see how they're more of a football shape. That's what that control is doing. It's changing that shape. Now with that does come a little bit of softness, so it's, up to you whether you think this is something that you'll use or not and you can see as i dial the control ring one way or the other you will notice not only the change in the serial call aberration um you know in the background but also the sharpness i did go ahead and let me just show you a nice close-up there we go lots of nice close-ups here that we can take a look at the macro function there we go, super, super sharp, that's for sure, especially when paired with the R5. And I did go ahead into Lightroom and you can take a look at me editing these real quick with my joyfully simple presets and then going ahead into my local adjustment brushes, doing a little bit of white balance, a little bit of skin smoothing, brightening the eyes, saturating Juliana's gorgeous blue eyes and just popping out the color a little bit and then one of my favorite tools is punch lashes and it's all just done in lightroom you can grab these lightroom brushes along with the presets at breatheyourpassion.com pretty cool let me know what you think do you think you would use this sa control at all on this ring let me know in the comments below do you think you would use this macro as a portrait lens so that's it let me know what you think of this macro are you going to add it to your arsenal Hit subscribe, ring the bell, see you next time.